Matt. Hi, everybody. I am here and I'm looking at my uh, that X1 Carbon, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon printer. And I've had it for maybe two months now and have been using it uh, quite a bit. Um, I'm guessing I might have 150 hours worth of printing on it. Just recently, I got the notice on the on the screen that the LiDAR camera lens needs to be cleaned. And I guess this coincides with, uh, with something that happened on one of my prints. I was printing uh, a piece, uh, six, a multiple of six on one bed, right? Well, uh, a few of the pieces spaghettied out and the printer did not detect it. Um, and I was only able to salvage, you know, by the time I came back and looked at it, it was so far along, I just let it finish. And I was able to salvage uh, two out of six of those pieces. So with two, with both of those things happening, it was like, well, it's time for the for the first maintenance cleaning on it, right? So I decided to not only clean the uh, the lidar camera lens, but then I went and cleaned the fiber rods, and uh, even cleaned and re-greased the, the Z rods on them. Just cleaned up everything inside. Now Bamboo Lab has a, a good short video on how to clean the rods, right? So I followed their procedure. And so I went in the rear and uh, loosened up the belt tensioners, uh, making sure that both the belts moved back and forth, right? Then I sprayed the carbon rods with alcohol. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the 99% stuff and sprayed them down and wiped them off and I did that twice. Then I went back and retightened uh, the belt tensioners and they say make sure it's not too too tight right and I, mean, it, and I guess it's a feel right you, you know there's uh, you don't want them loose where the uh, the belts are going to start slipping where the tensioner is going to start moving around but you don't want it too tight because you'll strip it out so it's just a, a matter of feel once it's snug don't force it right so after that I went and cleaned off the lidar camera lens now it's super easy you just you know take the cover off and and you can see where the the camera lens is facing down it's right there on the bottom right corner and I just got a cotton swab and more alcohol on there and wiped everything clean and while I was in there I was just looking around cleaning everything in sight right and internally I was looking around and and wiping off everything even the side walls any ledges stuff like that and I was looking for see if there was any black dust or anything that had been accumulating but it was all just super clean right I've I've read in forums or you know some guys with their videos and they're saying everything was coated with you know thick you know black dust and all that stuff is like well I've never seen any of that right and so with the black dust I was thinking well maybe they're clinging to uh, the Z rods because they're they're greased right so I went and checked those and it was like no they're they're actually pretty clean but I went ahead and wiped them down and put a new coat a fresh coat of uh, white lithium grease on them and everything seems to be rolling around just really good right um, never saw all that stuff so I went and recalibrated the printer and uh, and was preparing for the next print job right and I was going to use the polymaker um, ASA this time and and by the way I have been using cardboard spools with no problem on on that AMS um, yeah I think they're they're in there right now. There's three spools that are cardboard. Uh, a couple of them are from Overture and one of them uh, from Polymaker. And I've had no problems with them. You know, they're they're rolling around like they should, right? Uh, I have the lid on and everything's doing fine. The only problem I had was when um, I read on some forums and, and a lot of guys have designed a little uh, uh, rims that that you know you print off and you can snap them over the the cardboard spool and it's supposed to make it work and but I didn't have problems until after I did that so I took those off and I've been running just plain cardboard 
Um, I guess sooner or later, I'm going to keep my eyes on it and uh, maybe the rollers on the AMS, maybe they're going to need to be cleaned. Uh, you know, just basic maintenance, just like everything else. But, uh, but yeah, I've had no problems with cardboard. And actually, I've had really no problems with, you know, with, with the bed or any kind of adhesion problems or, you know, I've, I've read through so many forums and and everybody's just bitching and moaning and it seems like they're you know I don't know if it's uh, user error or uh, or printer error but I've had no problems like that uh, my uh, my machine has been you know running great this whole time and I guess I'm lucky right but it'd be interesting to see um, are there earlier units um, when they first started shipping out and filling out, uh, they finished the Kickstarter and the first wave of production. Uh, when did the quality start going down? Was it after that? Now they're they're out there mass manufacturing, and is is it that later batches that are having the quality control? I don't know. Uh, couldn't tell you. Uh, but it would be interesting to see because I've had no problems with mine. I've been totally satisfied with it. But I do expect in due time, because this is just a machine, right? And just like any other printer, you're going to have to replace, you know, nozzles, of course. And you might have to consider replacing belts, stuff like that. I mean, they're moving parts. And just like any other printer, sooner or later, you're going to have to tackle it, right? Uh, and the downtime might just be uh, replacing these parts. And, you know, I, I have no problem with that. I've, I've worked on every one of my machines, these one, two, three, four, five, six others that, uh, that sooner or later, yeah, I've had to work on it. Um, so expect it. You know, don't, don't be surprised that, you know, after a year or two years that you have to replace belts or something like that. I guess the only thing that I've had to put up with is it is quite noisy. I'd have to tell you that. But I got used to that fairly quickly. Yeah, so I guess it's a matter of priorities, right? Now, with these other printers I've had, the Ender 3s and the CR10, um, they're heavily upgraded, right? And I put new boards on them, you know, because I, you know, upgraded them to a 32 bit board. And they have the upgraded uh, stepper drivers, and it really, really quieted everything down, and that was great. They're super silent now; all you hear is the fans. But is that a priority? I, I guess it was a great side effect here, but because with the X1 Carbon, it's noisier. But hey, I can live with it because they they totally blow away any other printer I have, right? So I can live with the noise. <laughs> I guess it's a matter of priorities, like I said. I guess the only thing I've had. I've added to this printer so far is uh, well the, the poop chute that I designed and put on the rear and you can find that on printables actually just look up on on printables.com and look up v3 precision and you'll see you know I'm starting to load up a lot of designs and stuff like that and this I have a couple of versions of a poop chute back there um, but the only other thing I've tried different is uh, I found a, a 16 by 16 paver, but I didn't use the concrete paver I used. I found one that's made like a hard rubber. And from the feel of it, it, it feels like it's a recycled uh, vulcanized tire rubber. You know, it's really hard like that. Um, but it seems to be working great. You know, I put that on there and uh, I'll run that for a while. And of course, after you do that, I, I recalibrated, of course, Anytime I, I, I work on any part of that, you know, and, and get it all stable again, I always, you know, recalibrate and then print on. Well, I guess that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you the steps I took for the first maintenance uh, cleanup. And everything's running great, and I hope you have the same luck. So I guess that's it. You know, just uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.